Hi, Adrian the Bee Farmer here with Ecrotech Beekeeping Supplies. And today we're gonna to do a short video on how to feed, when and why to feed honeybees. So the different options for feeding are a top feeder. This one's Ecrotech eight frame top feeder. And it's simply goes on top of the box like that. You would put your syrup into this tray. Now in this tray, this little cover pops off like that. Now the bees come up through the inside of this tray and access the sugar here. So when you're actually feeding the bees, if you come late in the afternoon or at night time, one advantage of this feeder is you can simply unstrap, slide it forward, put your syrup in. The bees aren't actually flying, they're not coming out. You haven't opened it, you haven't disturbed them. So they're nice and calm in there and they can come up and access all the sugar syrup they need when they need it. They also come in a styrofoam feeder as well, which are quite good. This one's for a 10 frame box and it works the same way. So it just sits on top, has the compartments, the bees can come up and move in and drink up any sugar. Another option for feeding is an internal frame feeder. Just clips apart. Now one advantage of these feeders is that they do have a ladder inside. So the bees don't drown inside. They can walk in and out, access the sugar syrup and walk back out. You find very minimal dead bees. Sometimes you might get a couple, but very minimal compared to the old days when we used to didn't have the feeders and we used to just put a stick in the feeder. You'd find a lot of dead bees in the bottom of these. And the way they work, you would remove the lid you actually have to remove frames for these feeders and it just sits in place of the frames and then your lid goes on top. So probably the disadvantage of this is that when you're feeding, you really do need to open the beehive to access it. So you're exposing the bees quite regularly um, or over winter at times of year when it's very cold, you don't want to disturb the bees, but they might be feeling very light. You might walk past and feel the weight of the beehive. And if one hive is feeling very, very light, if you've left this feeder on at the beginning of winter, on a nice warm morning or a warm day in winter, you can come out and pour some lukewarm sugar syrup onto the bees early in the morning. And that'll give them a chance to get something fed and into the system, especially when they're clustering over winter. So that's about it on sugar feeding. Um, so one-to-one -one sugar will cause bees to stimulate, the queen will lay more eggs, and they will build population, and also they will draw comb on that. And that's done when you're first starting a beehive, if you transfer a nucleus into a box and you've got a lot of foundation that you want the bees to draw, you would feed one-to-one -one syrup. That then stimulates her to expand and, and obviously draw comb. Two-to-one before winter, if they don't have enough stores and the bees are light and they only have one frame of honey, you would definitely want to put a good five kilos of, of two to one sugar syrup on the bees, each hive, and then come back in a few weeks and check the weight, make sure they've put on weight. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a bit about feeding today and I hope you subscribe to the videos. Cheers.